What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. So, this is the first time I'm recording a ranked match video in quite a while. And, um, number two, it's deceiving a little bit. I just lost a match, hasn't updated yet. I'm really probably like more like number four or five, I'm not sure. And we are going to be playing ranked. So, let's start queuing up with aggro enchantment growth. There will be a link in the description for the deck, and this is it. So, it's basically. An aggressive growth deck with a few modifications to make it more enchantment-ish. Um, I have Earthen Mirths, and they are very underrated. I didn't think they were going to be this good, but it turns out it's nice card value to have two Crimson Bowls in one. And if you get one of these on like a Relentless unit or a one count on unit, it's great. That's why I have as many uh, one count on units or Relentless units in the deck. Like I have Brave Staple of most aggressive growth decks, but then interesting, I have Earthborn Keeper instead of Breaker. I'm not sold on Earthborn Keeper yet. It doesn't seem that great, but just the one countdown is just so good and like uh, to be enchanted. Uh, Species can have like higher attack every single turn, so I like that. And then one counts of the Ranger, and Vilda gets buffed up with enchantments, and then a Relentless Gravehawk instead of a, a Vengeful Vetter or a um, a Vengeful Vetter or a Kinfolk Ranger. So, unfortunately, we're going second. You, you obviously want to go to first in this match. And I'm facing Chylith. Good luck to Chylith. No luck back. Oh, well. And energy. Um, growth against energy, I think, gives usually a favor to growth. But Gravelocks seem to give a favor to Gravelocks. But if I'm facing structure energy or mono energy range, growth, I feel like, has a pretty good shot at winning. And... Good creatures in my starting hand, but I don't have a two drop, so I will draw in your hand. And this time it's much better. Look how good this is. I'm gonna sacrifice the Crimson Bowl so I have more creature options early in the game. I don't have like I don't have a, a lot of one counts units in my starting hand or Ragged Wolves, so I don't think the uh, the the Crimson Bowl would be that useful early on. And if there's a spark here, that sucks a little bit that I can't go turn two builds up, but it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay, because uh, I have I had a two drop and a three drop, but I will go with. Ooh, this is this is actually pretty gonna be pretty fun. I can go with. I want to get the brave down so that since so he didn't, it, he probably didn't have a spark that turn because he didn't spark the better. So if I get a brave down, I can go brave and then maybe I can throw this gun auto. So I'm gonna sacrifice the grave hawk and go for a brave behind here just in case there's an iron whip. I'd rather. Uh, the vetter die, and I'll stick another vetter down here. And now I have all these resources, and I'll keep it like that. He's only at three resources max, so he can't really do much. Worst case scenario, he puts like a forge in front because that's a that's big protection early on. In which case, I'll have to just like go with the brother for protection for now. And he moves down, and a skull shrine. All right, so at least I'll be able to destroy that. But that was actually a, a kind of smart play by him, or actually more than kind, it was a very smart play, because now for me to kill this, I have to, well I guess it makes me clump up a little bit more, because he's going to use a Skull Shrine, he's going to be able to sacrifice resources and play a Thunder Surge next turn. So I'm going to make sure I don't clump up together. And because of the two Vetters, my resources are inflated and they're higher than they should be. But I'm still going to sacrifice your scrolls. I want to get board presence. So I get another ragged to replace that ragged. I'm going to try to separate a little bit and stick a brother of the wolf there. Alright, so, so far so good for this match. And I can go with a kinfolk veteran on whatever he puts down this turn, this turn if both the veterans survive. And if he destroys uh, the veterans, that's still taking time away from him where I just can put more stuff on the board. And there's a power trip, a sudden eruption. That was a good play. Power trip um, brought his resources up, and the sudden eruption cleared the cleared the, most of the board. So that puts me at a card disadvantage almost because I lost the two vetters and a brave. So that was unfortunate for me. Skull shrine was pretty strong there, and I will go ahead and keep that guy in back and play a build of the verdant. Um, I'm going to put it in front because I just don't want to be Thunder Surge and ha take a little extra damage. So let's see what's going to go on here. If it was anything now with 4 health, I could probably destroy it because I have a Veteran and a Brother. But I oh, actually can't get to the Veteran this turn. 
stop take a four drop perfect i want to stop take a four drop so i can ramp up and go for the five drop veteran next turn and just because i can i will uh spawn a ragged wolf i'm gonna not clump up together for thunder surge i would rather uh damage the middle idle but whatever this way i'm a little more spaced out for thunder surge and blind rage and stuff like that Something you always have to be on the lookout for for energy. So this is the second time we've had board advantage. But um, as we know, Chalice runs power trips. And I have to watch out for sudden eruptions. Even if I'm playing around Thunder Surge. And there's a cannon. And also, Crazy Bound Bar plays also bring uh, Mono Energy Range back into the game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice... Brave, it depends. Do I want to go for the veteran just to take two damage off this guy right right now, or do I want to sacrifice scrolls and hope I can save the veteran when it's more useful and hope I can top deck like a four drop? I'm gonna hope I like top deck like a four drop. It's really risky, and that was okay. Whatever. Like I can get play a gray flock this turn, which is fine. I can't play the builder because I could play the builder, but it would just destroy the other builder. So I don't really want to do that. And I will play the... I don't have rallies in a sec. I'm considering rallies. I'll move like this. I want to get you closer to the front because I feel like I might... I may need the like extra damage from this brother of the wolf because it's three attack. I'm going to move you up here, you here, and a Gravehawk back here. And next turn, I might use the Kinfolk Veteran. Oh, so this guy has four attack, which is cool. And the Red Wolf has two attack. So we're pretty even on, uh, he's a little ahead in, like, scrolls and stuff. Another sudden eruption. And luckily for me, that did not kill this Red Wolf, but did kill that Red Wolf, which is what he really had to destroy. Man, these power trips on eruptions really hurt me. I'm another one, like, my board's cleared again. But because of the armor on this guy, Kinfolk Veteran does not actually destroy it, but Earthen Mirth will. I'll sacrifice the Vilda and just play the Earthen Mirth because I want to get rid of that thing. And I will threaten the whole entire board. So by doing this, I have at least one unit attacking. Uh, like, I have both these units are threatening up here and down here. Unfortunately, I have to use Earthen Mirth on, the, on this guy, and I don't, I ha don't have him to save for the Gravehawk. But, oh well. So let's see, now this uh, this uh, Vilda also has a little extra attack because her ability is she gains plus one attack for all the enchantments in her side. So she gets pretty big in an enchantment build. Burn on the Wetland Ranger, which stopped me from continuously ramping up, so that's fine. I'll get rid of the Crimson Ball. I just want to, you see, having those Vetters early on kind of pushed me a little bit behind because I thought I had more resources than I actually had. So when they were destroyed, I went down to like two. And again, I'll have at least one thing attacking all sides of the board. And dealing a little bit more idle damage. And we don't have to worry about too many more of those sudden eruptions, uh, but there's still Thunder just to worry about. And he's already used a couple power trips, a couple sudden eruptions. I don't know if he sacrificed other ones. And he's less than halfway through his deck. So chances are we're not going to see another one so soon and now I can go for a veteran next turn without having to even sacrifice her resources let's see so I have five attack threatening down these three lanes and then any kind of attack threatening these three lanes depending on how many creatures I play and Chilith sees the writing on the wall so he calls a game there and um, that will be that so Let's see, let's give that like a 4 to 5, plus 8, I'm not sure what that brings me to. Let me see. I, oh, I'm now 4, maybe that didn't count the match I just played. And you know what, that was kind of short, so I'm going to do another match in this video, another round with the same deck and see if I can win that one. So let's hope I can find another match pretty quickly, and I'll be right back. Alright. I thought I just found a match, it just like went away. I guess I missed it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Maybe like one over here. Here it's back. 
It was probably against like the same guy or something. No, Ghost Bomb. And I go first. So good luck. Have fun to Sir Ghost Bomb. And not a good starting hand, so I'll draw a new one. And this one's pretty good. I'll get rid of the Brother of the Wolf. And that'll be good. So I will go turn two, Gravehawk, turn three, Vilda or Mystic. Both Vilda and Mystic are good against energy because of the magic. Well, actually, Vilda does not have the magic four health to stay away from burn, but Vilda can stay away from burn because Vilda has a ward. It's pretty good against energy. And then I can go for a turn four, Brother of the Wolf. Unfortunately, Ghost Bomb has the turn one Dust Runner, which is annoying. So, when I play this Gravehawk down here, Ghost Bomb can move down and, like, try to destroy the Gravehawk the next turn. So, I'll probably do that because Ghost Bomb's a pretty good player. He knows that's supposed to do. But, luckily, I'll be able to go with the Earthborn Mystic, which has four health to absorb the Dust Runner's attack. Um, so yeah, I'll go with Earthworm Missing instead of Vilda. Um, unfortunately, I'll have to sack both Rumbles early on because I want to keep the early creature curve. And I'll go like this, so let's see what Ghost Bomb's going to play now. And next turn I can go Brother of the Wolf or Vilda of the Rodent. Probably Brother of the Wolf. Keep the curve up going. Play a Tier 3 Brother of the Wolf. What's the, what are the stats here? Wait, only 20 matches available. I only, I only did them 4 weeks ago. So I guess I haven't played much growth in the last month. Well, I guess Brother Wolf doesn't have to be in every deck. Let's see. Forge in front. So at least this doesn't go down just yet, but it is a burn target. Alright, unfortunately I didn't top deck an Earthen Mirth. If I top deck an Earthen Mirth, that'd be awesome. Just to, that would clear this board because uh, that'd be plus 4 damage and then plus uh, 5 damage because of the Earthworm Mystic, which would be... Uh, Actually, not enough to destroy that. It would actually leave this at one health, so never mind. And I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice the Vilda the Verdant and play the Fang Bear. I like the Fang Bear slightly more. And I will put the fourth unit in front. Fortunately, no enchantment, but oh well. And here we could very well see a burn on this Earthworm Mystic or a burn on this Gravehawk, but I think the Earthworm Mystic is a bigger burn target right now. And yes, it is. So that kind of sucks, but Ghost Bomb gets a little bit uh, of like a resource and card advantage uh, because he, not both, he just is a little ahead because he draws a card and destroys my creature. That's okay. I'll sacrifice a Stag Heart and I'll just play a Brother of the Wolf because it has four health. And I don't think there's going to be a way for him to destroy this Fangbear this turn. So if I draw like an enchantment, these are two relentless creatures, if I draw a Crimson Bowl or some kind of enchantment, I'll probably clear his board. Or actually, at, at least clear like a, this row or something. I don't know. Unless he plays like a potion of resistance, that would kind of ruin my day. Especially that I already sacrificed both rumbles. And I can go Rat King and Brother of the Wild next turn. But as we saw last game, filling the board with, uh, with um, filling the board with low health creatures against energy is not always wise because of stuff like sudden eruption and thunder surge. So Spark will destroy this Brother of the Wolf because that's Runner's ability when it deals damage to a creature with 3 health or less, it gets destroyed, so... Oh well. That's fine, I guess. And, um... But it looks like these guys are going to survive. And... A Copper Auto. I thought maybe you would just pump the Forge to get this, uh... To get this to really at least spawn one thing before it dies but okay and I will go ahead and get rid of the vetter because I want to get an enchantment or, or ragged wolf because I want to be able to destroy this copper auto and this forge if I don't I'll be kind of upset if I don't I don't that was kind of unlucky there's so many enchantments in this deck and stuff so unfortunately I won't be able to destroy this copper auto but I do want to destroy this forge so what I'll do is I'll play a rat king He's only at 4 energy, so he can't vanish the next turn unless there's like a power trip. So I'm not too worried. Um, do I really keep these both in the row? Because he could have like a spark or a burn and then get through to this spare. So I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to sacrifice the 1 damage I do to this Dust Iron Deal to Middle Idol instead. View back and then get a Rat King in front. I have a couple rats protecting this. 
Okay. And, well, I guess all my creatures are connected anyways. So hopefully there's no surprise power trip thunder surge or something. And at least this thing will die. So I wish I had an gem in last turn, but I guess Rat King is the best kind of protection if you don't have the necessary tools to destroy your opponent's creatures. Racking used to be more of like an offensive scroll like like a year ago and like Lilith and a year ago. It was often used for like Necrogeddons, like and just and like God Hands, right before God Hand you'd go like double rack racking, but um then it just morphed into more defensive scroll because it gives you three uh meat shields. Well they don't have much meat on them, they only have two health, but it's pretty darn good because it blocks a non relentless attack really well. So you're just gonna destroy a rat. Yeah, he did have a spark. He sparks that, so maybe he's a Thunder Surge to use next turn. And I'm going to keep the... I'm going to keep the, th the Crimson Bull. I'm going to sacrifice the Gravehawk for Scrolls. Earthen Mirth is going to be pretty darn awesome next turn. Because he sparked this, I really think he has a Thunder Surge right there in hand. This is one scroll. Which would mean that's all he does next turn. Or, he might just have like a spark or a burn so he could destroy this. I'm not sure. Um, luckily, I have two relentless guys that can use the Earthen Earth the next turn, or I can Crimson Bull. So, how do I want to do this? I want to make sure... I'll put the... I'll put the Wetland Ranger... No, I'll put the... Thing, Wetland Ranger right here. I actually put the Wild Ranger in front so I don't lose anything. And then I am going to move this down, this down. This could be risky because I might just like burn this and then I don't have a clear way of God taking back the center of the board. But this is why I'm kind of saying out of Thunder Surge because he doesn't have a clear road of Thunder Surge. If he Thunder Surge this row, he, he burns that. Okay. So I guess whatever. Hopefully there's no spark here. Because I want to keep that around. And if I can top deck like a Ragged Wolf, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome indeed. What is that? Is that his second burn, burn or his third burn? I think it's only his second burn. Okay, and... Let's see what I want to do here. Unfortunately, it looks like I'll be losing something. At least this thing gets destroyed, so it's not like a terrible trade for me. I'm going to start ramping up a little more. I think I have to start ramping up. I'll go with the Crimson Bull so I can at least take down this Forge and separate a bit and stick a brave up here so i have control of the sides of the board and this thing is going down but this thing will be going down and he only has one burn left in the deck which is good to know and i've already destroyed two of his forges which are very good which is very good defense against growth okay and uh ether pump so interesting he's playing he has like a mixed ranged and uh, structure deck. Usually you see clear cut, but this is cool too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the Earth and Earth is good, but I think yeah, I'm going to keep the Crimson Ball actually. Double Crimson next turn would be so cool. Let's go ahead and... He's zero card, so he's top decking. He is top decking. I can move these guys down and put a, a Fang Bear Wetland Ranger in front, and then have like an epic Crimson Ball next turn. I think that might be the plan. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and I'm, then I'm going to just like I'm crossing my fingers so hard, Ryan doesn't have a Thunder Surge. He's not gonna draw a Thunder Surge. He doesn't have a Thunder Surge right now, and because of that, I'm just I'm fine with moving Q down here. Because if he has a Thunder Surge, I'll probably use this row. So, top deck and sacra scroll. So, is there a thunder surge? Hopefully not. Like the third burn here wouldn't really even save him. Actually, it would do pretty well. But a double crimson bull next turn could actually like almost win the game. But I think it will at the very least clear his board, or at least almost clear his board, barring a thunder surge here. And but it would make me more vulnerable to thunders and he doesn't have anything wow wow that could mean that it is it for ghost bomb 
Um, I don't even think a double crimson bull is worth it here because I should also just make sure I can't win with a double third. That's five, so that's ten. That's gonna be six. No, I can't win with a double crimson bull. And then if I double crimson bull, I can clear this row. And then I'll deal six damage to this idol. Because then I'll be clumped up for a thunder's worship. If I single crimson bull, can I still clear the row? If I single crimson bull, I can almost clear that. What if I crimson bull stag heart? Then I can do pretty well. So let's let's get rid of the uh, one of the crimson bulls. I don't think double crimson bull is needed right now. Now let's go with the crimson bull. Oh no, I can't I can't clear the dust run anymore, but I think that's fine. Instead of wasting a double crimson bull, I'm wasting a lot of damage. Actually that would have been eight damage. Um and instead I will go ahead and clear this up. I almost want to hit the idol with the wetland ranger. Because and that's I'm a big thunder search threat in the middle of the board. I almost want to hit the idol with the Wetland Ranger so that my braids get extra attack next turn and the Wetland Ranger. But um I just didn't have quite enough resources to like play like the stack heart and the brave and stuff like that. So oh well. Next turn I can go Fang Bear, Stack Heart, or build a stack heart, so it's looking pretty good for me. Ghost if Ghost won't have this has a Thunder Church now it could do really well for making a comeback and a bombard here is pretty darn good for him so that clears out a lot of the middle of the board for me but it's okay I I think I'm doing fine I will go ahead and sacrifice these dag heart for scrolls a kinfolk veteran is good Kinvolk Veteran feels like a next turn play though. I will play the Fang Bear right now. I love the, I love the Fang Bear's four health. I just love it. And I'll go like this. And this coming turn, I can go Veteran to probably destroy this Oculus Cannon at least. Maybe even more. Let's see what Ghost Bomb has. And I've ticked his idols down a lot. Yeah, sometimes in the my ranked matches, if you're not aware, I I might end up doing like two ranked matches in one ranked match video because it's um because I'm playing like a more aggressive deck so I win kinda of fast. I don't know. Some people like that. Alright. What am I gonna do? I will I think I want to play. I can't destroy that dust runner. I can veteran here to destroy that. And I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna veteran there and destroy it. I sacrifice the brave for scrolls, and I'm just going to veteran to get this ether pump out of the way. Deal some more idle damage, and the next turn I could probably come down with the Fang Bear unless it gets Bounce Dispersal. So let's see. I have a lot of stuff I could I can go double Earthworm Mystic. Burn on the Veteran, interesting. Maybe he just thinks his only comeback here would be like top decking like a thunder surge or something to and me clumping my guys together so he takes out the healthiest unit I don't know and I'm going to get rid of the earthborn keeper and I think I'm gonna take this time to just go with the double earthborn mystic I will not move down and put myself into harm's way like, I mean, not move down with the Brave. I'll just go with the Double Earthworm Mystic up top. And I will try to move a little bit. Alright. 
and I have six resources, so I can even go Ranger Vilda next turn. Hopefully this puts him back at like Toon Lotter or something. Like I said, I'm trying to rack up as many weekly winner things as possible. Um, when release happens, I think I have the most weekly winner badges of anybody right now in scrolls. I know Ar Arachnid won the like most uh, most ranked wins in the week. Like I think he won it like a few times in a row, like, three or four times in a row. But I've been in the top three in the ladder like almost every week and winning the most ranked wins like twice so i think i'm okay let's see so uh champion ring will be an increase in four attack so regular champion ring is actually going to destroy the ether pump and then i can destroy the hard smoke iron backs that's pretty good let's get rid of the wetland ranger um can i win i don't think i could win close to winning not quite. If I had like another champion ring, I would be able to win. Is Ragged or Crimson Bull? Actually, I'm not sure if I can win with the Crimson Bull. Is Ragged Wolf, Ragged Wolf, and then champion ring back. All right, yeah, I can't. Let's put the uh, famous attack next turn. So even though that's for uh, health, I can absorb a Dust Runner attack. I'm gonna keep that towards the back. So go like this. I guess it five, and then might as well just like get a little extra damage on this so it dies with like a ragged wolf next turn and I will stick a Vilda up here that Vilda has three attack alright three dust runners on ghost bomb side these guys it's really it's really earthworm mystic that pulls the enchantment decks together but Vilda's no slouch either but Vilda's more like helps herself other other creatures help her, but then Earthworm Mystic helps other creatures. Blind Rage there, so so I guess it's kind of bad that I move the base rat up like that. I should just put me, put, move it back here. Oh well, messed up a little bit. And a Fury actually takes out all of that. That's a pretty good turn by Ghost Bomb. I don't think it will be enough for him to come back in the game though, but. He has a chance. Let's get rid of the Vilda because I already have a Vilda. There's the. Oh, I actually have three round of Rumbles in this deck. I actually thought I had two. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I don't think Rumbling to try to kill those guys is really that worth it right now. You know what? Here to use two burns. Let's let's just let's just draw. Champion ring. Champion ring on you would give you plus four attack and you would have six which is not enough to destroy that uh, let's just go ahead and ragged wolf kills you I should probably just do that yes yeah, so let's destroy this idol separate a bit move you here and then ragged wolf here all right so i think that's a pretty good turn filling up the board a little bit more when my board gets a little bit decimated i guess decimated is not the right word there decimated feels more like it feels like something can't be a little bit decimated decimated is a pretty strong decimation decimate strong action in scrolls decimation is not too strong just does one damage. Like decimation is like it's ticking away. Decimating. Alright. Let's see. None of my units are attacking next turn. As, as I said, there's no rallies in my deck. I'm thinking about adding two rallies. I'm not sure what I would take out. Maybe the Earthborn Keepers. Because late. I haven't really been playing them. I do like their one council, but I haven't really been playing them. I usually have other three drops to play. Overdrive. Okay, that's like a new combo uh, for energy. Overdrive on that. It's all last game. It's pretty good. No, Mom, six comes downstairs. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so Earthborn Keeper, Gravehawk. I like that guy. I need to. I'm gonna get rid of the Earthborn Keeper so I get. Veteran is pretty darn good. Actually, it's not. I need, I need kind of more than a veteran, but. If I still have that Ragged Wolf, that'd be good. Let's see. Let's go ahead and. Should I have veteran? What, are, what should I have veteran? I'll go ahead and veteran this to kind of save that. And then move the three of you up and pray. Play if it play better. Okay. So that earthworm mystic goes down. Just by that just under moving up. <sighs> Ghost bomb is holding on. He's holding on to uh his idols here. Every few T turns it seems like he up oh, that's it for Ghost Bomb. GG. Um he was doing a good job, but I guess he realized that there was just no end to me just keep filling up the board again. He was wasting a lot of scrolls just to destroy a few of mine. So that's pretty good. I gained 13, almost back to 1800. What does that help me? It's probably not updated. Mostly back to number two. So I guess I'm like almost back where I started. So two, two rank match videos today. Um, thank you for watching. I think tomorrow I'm going to do some judgment, a judgment video. I just had a 5-0 run with an order deck and I got to take an Arbalister, an Erva, and a Night Sergeant. So that was pretty good. Um, I sold them. That's why I have like so much gold. Like right after I, I had 250,000 gold and then I spent most of it on waypoints and now I'm only getting a lot of it back. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this and keep on scrolling, Scrollgers. I will see you tomorrow.